Hello team and welcome to today's Excel video where I'll be sharing with you two ways that you can copy a formula without changing the cell references. Let's jump in. If you're looking to copy the formula from just one cell, in this case, I have a profit formula in column E, which subtracts cost from revenue. You can double click into the cell, highlight the formula that you wanna copy, and then use Control C to copy the function. You can then go to where you wanna move the formula and use Control V to paste, and you'll see I end up with the same result, as well as in the formula bar, you can see the same formula was used. Now, if you're looking to copy formulas from multiple cells or multiple columns, another pro tip you can utilize is find and replace. To access find and replace, you can go to find and select on the home tab and select replace. You can also press control plus H on the keyboard to open up the find and replace dialog box. Using find and replace in the find what box, you wanna enter the equal sign, which starts off our functions. And in replace with, you wanna enter in a word that's not utilized within your spreadsheet. Now we can select replace all and click okay. Now you're able to highlight all of the functions in our profit formula. We can use control C to copy and paste them to a new location. Now we can head back into the find or replace dialog box. And this time for find what we're gonna enter formula and replace with we'll enter in the equal sign to change these cells back into a function. I'll select replace all. And after clicking okay, you can see that our formula has been moved with all the cell references staying the same. Team, it's important to keep in mind that when you're looking to retain cell references, you could also enter the dollar sign in front of the cell references so that they remain absolute. However, in some cases, you'll have a mix of absolute and relative cell ranges, and you just wanna move the function itself. Team, I hope you found this tip helpful today. Please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos and leave comments about additional tips you'd like to see covered.